Hey guys, what is up? My name is Mark and welcome back to my channel. So welcome to another episode of Friday Gear Reviews where we try to review gear every Friday, but we never seem to. So today we are going to be taking a look at a peculiar product that I have never tried reviewing before. Because as you guys may know, I am used to reviewing lights, microphones, and yeah. So today is going to be my first time to actually review somewhat like a lens. So this is called the US KeyVision. WLZ1. This is a wide angle and macro lens for the Sony ZV1 camera. So right now I'm using my Sony ZV1. So this is the camera that I'm using right now to shoot this talking head part. So this lens is actually a good lens because for some Sony ZV1 users like myself, sometimes if I want to vlog with it, the lens is not wide enough because it, it is a 24 to 70 equivalent. But as soon as you use 4K, it crops in a little bit. And as soon as you use in the in-body stabilization of the Sony ZV-1, it crops in a little more. So you're getting about about 30 millimeters instead of 24. So with this, I think we're going to get as close to 18 millimeters because shooting handheld sometimes and you only have your arm, it's going to be very tiring to hold it from this distance. But if you have a wider angle, which is about 18, it would be good because now you don't have to hold it as far away from yourself. Although it's not going to be as wide as a 16 mm, this is going to be better than nothing, right? So inside the box, we get the manual. It will teach us how to attach the lens. So according to the manual, it says that we are going to be using adhesives to attach the lens onto the camera. Very interesting. And here we get a carrying case. So this is going to be the adapter ring to attach to the ZV-1. So as you can see, there's 3M adhesive onto here. So we are going to peel this off and then attach it to our ZV-1. We have some extra adhesives. So 3M is a good brand for adhesives. They are very well known for making adhesives. So this is going to be pretty strong. So I'm not really scared if this is going to fall off or not. But yeah. So on this side, we get the lens. Wow. So this is going to be the WLZ1. It's a little hefty. So it's just around 147 grams. So we are going to be removing the front cap and the back cap and let's see how heavy it is. So without the front cover and the back cover, it's just shy around 116 to 117 grams. You can see on the side that it says there are two parts. This is the macro lens and a wide angle. So you can unscrew this if you don't want to use some wide angle and you will be getting like a macro lens. So you can actually use just the macro lens by itself, but you cannot use the wide angle lens by itself. So this always has to come together if you want to use the wide angle lens. So the macro lens is just shy around 33, 34 grams. So this is my Sony ZV-1. I have put a UU rig cage on it. So if you guys want me to review this cage, please do comment down below and let me know. So we are going to install the lens adapter to the front of the lens is going to look like this. First step is we are going to peel off this. Okay, so now I've, I've peeled off this part. We are going to try to put it as center as possible. Once we center it down, we press down gently, make sure it's nicely secured and try not to press too hard or else you might break your lens. Just a very gentle push on the sides and check if it's really in there. And the next step is to simply power on the camera and to see if it still works. Wow, there you go. So just by looking at that, we know that it's firmly attached and we can check the LCD. So far, so good. There are no visible shadows or whatever. So this is what it looks like. So now we are going to be testing if the lens can still retract and collapse, even if we put this heavy lens on it. So hopefully everything will work out. So yeah. So the first step is to unscrew the back cover. Next one is to simply screw this onto the lens adapter. Now it looks like a mirrorless camera. Okay, so next step is to remove the front cap. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of play, but I don't think it's the lens's fault. It's because the way the lens adapter is attached to the body of the lens, it's not fully in there because it's trying to avoid any friction to be created by it being attached onto that. So that's just something to consider when attaching this. Don't worry. Hopefully it doesn't fall. I haven't really tried it yet, so I can't say so much about it. So yeah, so let's switch it on and see if it can still retract. Wow. So yeah, a nice little lens attachment for the ZV-1 to make the angle a little bit wider. So now we are going to be testing how wide it really is compared to not using it and if it still works with the autofocus and if it screws up the image quality, we are going to be testing that out now. Okay, so this is what it looks like shooting with the Sony ZV-1 at 24 FPS uh, 1080. So this is without the lens attached, no stabilization. I think the stabilization is on, but not the active mode. This is just standard. So there is not much of a crop. 
So the lens I can touch with my uh, my my finger. I'm not attaching the this lens yet. I'm just touching the inbuilt lens on the Sony CV1. So this is about one arm span away. So this is the, the width that I can get. This is the focal length that is included with the Sony CV1. So we are going to be trying to attach the lens real time. Now you can see this part of the shot and this part of the shot over there. We are going to be seeing how much more we can get if we attach this. So this is without the lens. This is with the lens. Without, with. Again, without the lens, with the lens. <laughs> so a little bit wider, right? That's pretty impressive that you can do this with such a small camera just by putting a lens like this. I'm going to be attaching this back onto the camera and we are going to be testing if the autofocus still works flawlessly even with something like this attached. Okay, so I just attached the lens. We are now going to be doing a simple autofocus test. I'm going to be trying to hold something in front of me. Let's see if it can... Let's see how fast it changes from this to my face. This to my face. This to my face. Again, let's move forward. This is so awkward being so close. I'm going to move back. Let's see if the autofocus still works. Oh, the autofocus works. Let me see how uh, how close this can focus. Not bad, right? It can focus very closely. I have an idea. What if we remove the wide angle lens and let's just use the macro lens on this? So right now I removed the wide angle attachment and just using the macro lens so it cannot focus on my face. So we are going to be trying to put something in front of it that's very small. Wow, it just turned into a macro lens. Now I'm holding it just in front of the camera, just about this distance, like about an inch away. That's pretty impressive that it can do this. So as of checking on the US Key Vision website, it is currently on sale from $109. It is now at $59.99. And that is a very good deal. It's half the price of their, their previous offering. What do I think about this lens? I think it is awesome. I can't believe that this thing can do what it's doing right now. I thought it would be terrible to put this in front of the lens. I even was very scared to attach it because I don't want to break my camera. But so far, so good. Nothing is nothing bad is happening and I think the image quality is still good. The autofocus still works and I'm not really into pixel peeping. I'm not really going to test it out, this out and really nitpick every single detail of the video quality or the photo quality that's coming out of this lens. So that's it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this simple review for the Sony ZV-1 wide angle macro lens by US Key Vision. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to watch more content like this, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.